Hey everyone, welcome to another Rock for a Cube video. This is a Sunday special video, so this is not one of my regular uh, challenges, but it's one you've seen before. This is the Alls Over the Pockets challenge, where you have a red and a colour over every pocket, and the idea is to pop them all. For the full setup video, see my previous video, link in the description. Before we get started though, please like the video if you do and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and why not stick the bell on to be notified when I upload. So here we go then with another attempt at this Colours Over the Pockets challenge and I'm starting on the top rail as I tend to do and getting that red in ideally without disturbing the green which I was successful at uh, this particular occasion but it leaves me with a bit of a long pot to clear up this green so I end up getting the rest out. I uh, tried to put a bit of backspin on it to try and get it away from back out away from the pocket, but that doesn't really work. So it ended up sticking not quite in the jaw, but a bit closer to the corner pocket than I wanted to. So what shot am I going to take on next? I'm not actually sure, actually. Let's see. I'm having a good look around the table, looking to see what the angle is on that red. See if I can cut it in without disturbing the yellow. And I think that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. See if I am... Um, successful yeah but because it was a fine cut I do kind of lose control with the cue ball a little bit um, I actually should have put a bit more pace on it to try and get him back out onto the middle of the table but it doesn't mean I've got uh, this shot on the yellow but it's pretty straight I believe so I'm going to have to force it in and uh, with a lot of top spin to try and get it out off the cushion but I think that was a pretty good shot right into the D with the cue ball, so I can't really complain too much. And I've got this shot on the red, but this is a tricky one without disturbing the brown, basically. Uh, so again, I have to put a lot of bottom on that cue ball to try and get it away from the brown, and it works pretty nicely. And then back out in the middle of the table at the top end to try and clear up some of these uh, balls over the pockets here. Um, thankfully I've set the table up correctly this time, so if, if I'm successful here, at least it will count. So again, red, quite easy shot. Play it with a bit of pace to come back out for the pink, which I do nicely. And now I think I'll play this one. Probably come out a little bit off the rail to try and hold for the red next to the black. That's what I do now anyway, whether I manage to do this. Uh, end up having to get the rest out again because it is a bit of a stretch for my massive bulk. Uh, I get this pink in and hold for the red. Yeah, come out nicely, pretty much land it on the black spot. So I think I probably would have put it there myself if I wanted to, if I picked up the cue ball and put it down by hand. So this red, again, try and come off the similar shot, come off the cushion and hold for the black, really. Uh, this is what I'm trying anyway, uh, but I go a bit too far with it and end up with a cue ball on the cushion, which is not ideal. So now it's much more difficult. The pot on the black isn't too difficult, but they're getting back out for the red. I don't have to do too much with the cue ball because the red is at least this side of the table. Um, and I end up hitting it far too hard. Actually not far too hard, but I end up hitting a little bit too hard, so I end up with the wrong side of the red to steer for the blue. So it means I probably... In fact, I've messed up, haven't I? Yeah, I've messed up because I end up with two colours left, so I've gone wrong somewhere. Oh well, I guess, uh, I guess I've suddenly realised while I've got two colours on the table, I must have potted two reds in a row, which is not ideal. Um, no, I haven't realised yet. But I'm sure I will when I take this brown and then I end up with another blue, another colour. Well, I'm going to take it on, but this won't count. What an idiot. And I go in after it anyway. So on to the next attempt. Actually, before the next attempt, let's just see how I went wrong. Yeah, I potted that red in the middle pocket to get down to the top of the table. And then what do I do here? Uh, yeah, I, I seem to remember now. I go in this uh, in this top right-hand corner pocket, but I meant to I meant to go for the pink here, but I go for the red, don't I? 
that's where I went wrong, so two reds in a row. Silly boy. There we go, that red goes in. So now let's take a look at that next attempt. And yeah, I'm starting on the rail again, as I tend to do. Try and get around this green for an easier shot. Do disturb it a little bit, but it stays over the corner pocket. And I'm not too bad for leaning over to get this green in without having to use the rest, thankfully. Uh, just try not to disturb the, bla the, the brown and red over the corner, uh, over the middle pocket with my... Uh, look, I've got a hole in my t-shirt, that's not great, is it? So I get that green in quite nicely, I know you didn't see it. Um, I was thought I was filming with my mobile phone as well, but my mobile phone at this point had run out of space, so it wasn't actually recording, which I didn't realise until after this uh, particular session. Anyway, I cut that red in quite nicely, similar to what I did in the last attempt, and roll the cue ball back over the table. So now I can get this red, uh, yellow in and hopefully head down to the... Well, I was going to say I'd head down to the top of the table, but I end up having to play one of these uh, middle pocket shots. Or I assume I do anyway, unless I uh, go straight for the red, red next to the black. Which looks like I'm actually doing. No, no, I do cut that red in. Um, controlled it relatively nicely. Should be able to now. Please go for black. Go for colour. So I need to go for this black. Looks like I'm doing. Thankfully, I mean, it's partly a test of concentration. This game, just to remember what what actual uh, all you're actually on. So get the black in, but do disturb the red. But it's left it still in a reasonably portable permission, position, rather. Uh, but this is the testing shot. If I don't get this in, then I'm, if I can get this in, then hopefully it's the uh, plain sailing from here, he says. But, you know, this is not a gimme. But I did get it in. Um, so now I should be able to get get on this pink, uh, well, stay on this pink and get on the red from it, next to it. Just a little bit hard, just uh, came a little bit over the, over the left hand side of the table, more over the left hand side of the table than I wanted to, but I've also got other people in the club now, so I'm getting a bit thinking about whether I should uh, stop filming. Oh no, he was just looking for an extension, that's right. They were playing on the top table and he was looking for a, one of the uh, universal extensions. So I get that in, but now I'm left with uh, a longer than I would like shot on this blue. Uh, so can I get this blue in, then hold for the red in the same pocket without disturbing it? Oh, I actually hit it very hard, <laughs> trying to get up and down the table. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Because now I've left, now I'm the wrong side of this red to put it in the middle pocket. So I, yeah, I remember this attempt now. I try and go off the top rail, the top cushion, and then come back for the cut. Uh, because there's no way I'm cutting it in from where I was. Um, and I wasn't a million miles away, probably half a ball's width away, but it was still a failure. Never mind, on to the next attempt. On to attempt number three then of this video. And yet again, I'm on this red, trying to get it in without disturbing the green. Again, I do I do disturb the green a little bit, but it stays over the corner pocket. And I push the white actually further down the table. So at least I can reach it, I think, without a rest. But do I actually play that green or do I chicken out and go for another shot? I chicken out and go for another shot, don't I? I go for the, what am I going for? The black. So this is going to be a screw back shot, I think. So I'm yeah, well stunned back for the red in the same pocket. Works out pretty nicely. As I keep saying, the idea is to essentially get the white back into the middle of the table where you can almost hit any, pretty much hit any ball into the pocket from, give or take. Uh, let's see, again, again but it, aiming for the spots, essentially. Um, so do I again forget which ball I'm going for here? Probably, not me. Oh, I end up having to look because I'd had actually forgotten. So I looked to see what was the last colour, uh, you know, last thing potted. 
And it was obviously a red, so I'm going for this brown into the middle. Again, a screw back shot, trying to stay for this red, but I end up disturbing the red massively. That was a disappointing shot. A big puff out of the old cheeks there. It was disappointing. But it's not over yet. That red is not uh, not in a terrible position, so I could still do this. Obviously, it's called the balls over the pockets, but you know they might start it over the pockets. But if they don't stay there and I still put them, then that's not that's still a, a successful attempt. So, so I want to be able to ideally onto this red after this green. Uh, but I didn't quite put enough right hand side on it, so I didn't quite get on it. But I'm nicely on this red in the middle. And can I now get this blue in and get onto the red on the uh, bottom rail? That's the key shot in this attempt. I don't know, I play this red. Am I playing this pink? Here's a colour on one, isn't it? I'm playing this pink. Try and get back for this red, which was a. I don't think it was the right shot, unless I'm misjudging the angle on this table angle, uh, this camera angle rather, but I felt like the blue was a better shot. But well, maybe it was a different. Uh, the, the angle was different to what it looked. So now I've got red here. I'm going to have to hit this hard to get back for yellow or blue, and I don't manage it. So I've now got. Uh, well, the blue is probably not really cuttable uh, and this yellow is tricky all the way, you know, it's about as far as these balls can be apart, so... Uh, I'm not tight on the cushion though, so it's possible. i just roll it in. But no, it uh, doesn't quite get it. So, another failure, on to the next one. And on to the fourth attempt of this session, and actually I start on a different ball. I start on a different position in the middle of the table, and at the top of the table actually, so the red and the black straight in, nicely controlled and I'm a bit closer to this cushion than I wanted to but I should be okay to get on there to put this red and stay on the pink I think. I assume that's what I do? Yeah, that's what I do. Good lad. Uh, so I should be able to get around the back of this, or get around this pink. Oh no, I hit it really hard. I'm going to put one of these reds in. Oh no, I managed to miss it. Uh, so, left the pink behind. Ideally would have liked to have cleared all the balls from those top cushion, uh, sorry, top pockets uh, before I loop, went back to the uh, bulk end of the table, but wasn't to be, so here I am at the bulk end of the table. Still looking at that pink, thinking, why did I leave you there? But I did. So, this is this is a, a puzzle just as, just as well as a, as a, as a challenge to actually pop these balls and get position. So you see I get the colour in but I do disturb that red. So similar to the, to the, the other attempt essentially, uh, this red has moved out into the middle of the table a bit but it is still a very potable position so this attempt is not over yet but it is the key shot probably in this attempt. So how long do I leave it before I play it? I think I was attempting to get it on, on it there, but I over, overran it by quite a long way, so scratch that. So this is a fine cut into this middle pocket. Where's the red going to go? I think I tried to control it for the pink, and I just about managed to stop it in time to get this pink in. Or do I play the brown? That's the other shot. No, I do cut this pink in, or at least I tried to cut this pink in. Key ball's running away a little bit again. Uh, so, left myself a tricky shot on this red. Gonna have to go off the uh, top cushion and back for a colour. I don't play that well, but I do have a shot on the brown and it should be a relatively natural angle to get on this red. So, oh, when the lights go out. But this isn't a time challenge, I'm not um, necessarily stopping when the lights go out, so I do put another coin in and carry on with this challenge. So 
works, yeah. So fine cut on this brown, but it should be, if I control the cue ball well, a relatively natural angle to get on in behind this red into the bottom left corner pocket. I did force the angle a little bit, put a bit of stun on it, but I'm pretty pleased with that shot. That's probably one of my best shots, I think, in this particular challenge. Thought that out carefully and uh, it didn't seem to work out. So, it's a bit further. I don't want to stretch over the blue really. Uh, I do try, but I think I'm going to disturb the blue and I don't want to mess up this challenge by disturbing the blue. So I get the rest out and attempt to essentially hold the white where the red is. Just about creeps into the car. You see me uh, ooh myself there because it just about drops there. Played it absolutely dead weight. Kind of snatched at it a little bit with the rest, but I'm not great at rest shots yet, so uh, I haven't covered that in my coaching yet. So that's uh, that's one for another time. But I did I did at least get it in and left the white about where I wanted it, and then I can just roll this blue in, and there we go, a successful challenge. That's probably going to be the end of these videos because you've seen a successful one. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've tried this challenge and how you got on, and. Look out for another Sunday special video next week.